Now there are many hidden gems and techniques found within Lightroom, but none quite as large as the calibration tool. It is an amazing underutilized and underused tool found within Lightroom. So today I'm going to be showing you three different ways on how you can utilize this tool to get the most out of Lightroom. Firstly, fixing the white balance or even fixing the skin tones or even boosting the colors naturally in your landscape photos. And I'm going to start right now. What you need to do basically is load up Lightroom. So what we're gonna do is load up Lightroom. Now I've got this photo here, which is a astonishing photo, one of my favorites. And I must say, I like it so much, I've actually used it as one of my background photos for my desktop. So what we want to do firstly is basically boost the saturation. Now, traditionally people would go to the hue saturation slider and basically just whack that up. But in most cases that sometimes saturates everything at the same time. And we don't necessarily want to do that in most cases. So what we're gonna do is use the calibration tool so we can enhance either the red, green, or blue primaries. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna to go to our develop panel. And we're gonna go down to the right hand side and you'll see right at the bottom, we've got calibration. So we're gonna go ahead and turn that on. Now, it's basically broken down into two parts. You've firstly got your tint. So you've got your, your tints for your shadows. But the part that we're going to be predominantly focusing on today is your red, green, and blue primaries. Now, if you didn't already know this, basically all photos are breaking down into RGB. That's how photos are taken. It's how sensors work on cameras. It's also how screens work as well. So every single color that you'll ever find, especially displayed on a screen or on a photo, has got red, green, and blue in it. And depending on the percentages of each one of those colors, either red, green, or blue, or depending on the hue of the color. Now that might seem a little bit confusing, but luckily the brand new Lightroom has a feature that can actually show you in a percentage. So what we can do is if we go ahead and let's just say zoom into um, this part of the photo here, if we go ahead over to the top right hand side where you can see your histogram, you'll see there is an R, G and B number, and it's represented in a percentage. So as you can see, uh, red is 54.6, then it's 43.4, and lastly, it's 26.9. That is how much red, how much green, and how much blue is found in that specific part of the photo. And as you can see, if I go ahead and move my cursor around, those numbers are constantly changing. So as you can see, all colors are made from either red, green, or blue. And that is basically how the calibration tool works in Photoshop. You can either enhance the red, green, or blue part of each of the parts of the pixels. It is a pixel-based tool. So what we can do is use that understanding and work out how to enhance a photo. Now, obviously this is a very autumnal photo, shot quite early in the morning, very golden photo. So what we want to do is if we want to enhance this photo, we want to look at our red primary. Now it's split into two. You've got your hue and you've got your saturation. So if I go ahead and move the hue, you can see how it is changing the cast of the photo. So it's making it either very pink or very, very yellow. So what you can do is start to adapt that and you can either boost the colors naturally by using the saturation or slightly tweak the photo by using the white balance of your hue primary. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna increase the saturation here and I'm also going to make it a little bit more, I think a little bit more red. So I'm gonna slide that over to the left slightly. But obviously every single color has got both blue and green in it as well, but to a lesser of a degree. So if we go to our saturation of green, again, all of those colors you can see you can change again independently using the sliders here. So again, I'm going to increase the saturation. I'm gonna go for something like so. But again, this photo is still looking really natural. Again, if we zoom in, you can see all of the colors here look very, very natural, but they've brought out that vivid and intensity that was previously lacking from the photo. And again, you've obviously got your blue primary as well. And as you can see, it's both, all of them are changing the photos in a slightly different way, just simply how many red, green, and blue pixels, or the difference and the amount is found within each pixel of the photo. It is a very pixel-based tool. It isn't so, it's not like the hue and saturation layer, which changes it sometimes in, uh, in different color bands. 
It's all to do with the mixture of the colors found within each pixel of the photo. Now, this isn't the only way to actually change a photo. I find my most favorite way of doing it is by using it in a portrait photo, and that's when it comes to skin tones. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and open up photo two. Now, this is a photo I have previously taken on a recent portrait shoot. And the background of this photo is basically it was taken very dark, and it was taken when it was raining. So as you can see, the colors are sometimes lacking. So what we're gonna do is again, guys, we're going to be using the saturation of the primary colors to try and fix this. So what we can do is I'm gonna go ahead and just uh, zoom in. So I'm gonna go ahead and as you can see, it, the, the skin tones are very white, they're very undersaturated. So I'm gonna zoom out just slightly. I'm gonna to go to about 200%. So what we're gonna do is we, again, we're going to try and work out what is the percentage difference. So I'm gonna hover over my uh, cursor icon and as you can see, red is standing at 79%, green is 76 and blue is 72. So again, each of these bands are going to affect the colors slightly differently. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna to go to the saturation of our red primaries here I'm gonna go ahead and increase that. So I'm gonna go increase it until, I'm gonna go for maximum, see what that looks like. So as you can see, if I increase it slightly, you can see it really does bring out a lot of the photo and it works really, really nicely. And again, you can also do this with the green, but you can also do it with the blue as well. So obviously we've got a lovely green dress here. If I go ahead and slide that over to the left-hand side, you can see it is slightly changing the photo. And again, if I go ahead and slide it over to the right, Again, it changes it, but in a different way. It is, what I would recommend doing it is try and use it experimentally. And uh, once you've found a particular effect that you like a lot, then you can go ahead and either create a preset and it can often fix your white balance as well, especially within the skin tones. I find if you're especially using the red primaries and you're either in a studio or you're doing lots of portrait work, the red primary, especially saturation and hue, can really, really help you out. So if I show you the before, and then I'll show you the after. As you can see, it has fixed the skin tones. It's brought back a lot of that natural saturation that was previously missing from the photo. So there are two ways of basically using the calibration tool layer in Lightroom to help you boost the colors, but also fix the white balance and skin tones. Now, if you'd like to closer look at the last photo, I've actually got it on my Instagram. So I can show you the before, and then I can show you the after. And if you want to have a look at any other photos, they'll all be available on my Instagram that you can find